<laughs> it's uh, kind of like when somebody's like, oh, dude, check out this Morant stereo or headphones and <laughs> yeah. you buy a new vinyl record and if you listen to it, it sounds like this and it sounds like oh, that. You know what's really good? Okay, so like, let's say a turntable, right? You, so you have audio files that are like, you know, um, like direct drive versus like the belt and like, oh, I don't want to hear the motor and all this stuff. Honestly, like, I don't know if you can hear the difference between um the two like if you pay it a record and you put headphones on and i didn't tell you hey is this a direct drive yeah. turntable or is it belt driven i don't think you could tell but there's something about like knowing which one it is and if that's your preference you're like this sounds better yeah. like there's something that like soothes you and so like i could like wdt comb an espresso shot or not and i can serve you and you'd be like oh this is really good but if you knew that i combed it yeah that part of your brain goes like thank you like, thank you for taking that extra step. And so it's it's kind of like that because like, even in like in the cover band that you and I have, I mean, sometimes I'll turn my tone from like eight to nine and a half. And I'm like, now nah, I'm really gonna, <laughs> now, nah, oh, they're not ready for it. So then we'll play our show and I get videos and people don't even notice when you mess up. So they're really not noticing that I, t I tweak my tone knob a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's funny you say that because when we're practicing and I'm all maxed out on the mids on the mixer and you're like, hey, can you turn it up a little more? And I'm like, sure. And I'm like, I pretend I move it. And you're like, oh, that's perfect. No way. <laughs> you know what's funny? I thought you might have done that to me a couple of times. And then I was like, fair. Yeah. Fair.